highlights of 12 games in the books for you. We go back out to Spencer now, joined by the Tulsa World's Barry Lewis. Let's get some expert analysis, guys. All right, let's get right to it then, Barry. What a game out here tonight. Did not see this one coming personally. I mean, we come into this thing. We know Norman North's explosive. Look what they did last week. But they have played a great game and a bit of a shocker for someone to come in here and be jinxed on their home field. Yes, Norman North has been a mystery team this year. And uh, they showed they were capable last week in that wild overtime victory over Broken Arrow. And they look like the better football team here tonight. For them to be able to do that without Chapman also, their OU commit at uh, running back. He was out tonight. Still, like you said, able to pass it around. Looked pretty good. And speaking of Broken Arrow, a team really in need of a win. Able to get one out here tonight. Big win for them. Very impressive that they could bounce back after that roller coaster loss against Norman North last week. They desperately needed a win, and they got it. Yeah, they've been up and down this season, and this was one that they really needed to have, so a big win out there for them. And speaking of a surprising outcome tonight, you take a look at Bixby, who, you know, they've been averaging 64 points a game. They upped it again tonight, going for another huge number. The Spartans just, what more can we say about them at this point as they just continue to pile on wins and break records? They, when you look in the dictionary and see the word juggernaut, yeah. you see Bixby is the definition. Uh, they're incredible, and uh, it's looking more and more like a Bixby Union State Championship. And that would be a game worth the price of admission. A game that a lot of people were surprised by tonight also. Verdigris, that, that not a lot of people saw that one coming right there. I didn't, although Bristow had been looking better in recent weeks. And uh, they've got a lot of momentum right now, and uh, tonight it all paid off. Yeah, well, certainly this thing is, is far from over. You look at Jinx, this is a team that has had some shaky starts, you know, a few years in the past and was able to bounce back. How do you feel about this team's chances? You've seen them now for about five, six weeks to kind of, Right the ship. I mean, they have the talent. They have the coaching to make that deep run. It's in the pedigree of this program, you think. Three years ago, they had a similar loss here at Allen Trimble Stadium to Edmond Santa Fe. And Jenks wound up regrouping and going to the state championship game. And uh, so they've got the capability to do that, but they've got to get healthy. Yeah. I mean, they've got so many injuries right now, and they've got to be able to pass the ball right now. Tonight, they got nothing from their passing game. I get that, and they got to find a way to get off the field, get some defensive stops also. Well, that is going to be it for me. Be sure to check out Tulsa World tomorrow for a bunch more breakdowns from all of the games that happened out here tonight. Barry, appreciate your time.